Now, maybe you still don't know what to do over Christmas. Maybe you'd actually still like to get away. Or you might be a single person and thinking, you know, I'd, you know, not be looking forward to Christmas at all. We can take you away all the way over Christmas. So you'll be going literally next week. Wow. <laughs> and how about being away for 26 nights and getting them some, some fabulous weather over the cruise as well. So we're going to tell you about this extraordinary itinerary, but we'll start off by just introducing Costa as a brand because we are talking about a very, very high end Italian brand here, aren't we? Oh, that's right. Costa, I mean, we get great prices on Costa, and I must say we get much lower prices here in the UK than the Italians do. This is really luxurious, this brand. Um, and the whole ship um, embodies the sort of Italian and style and, and luxury that you would expect. So this ship weighs 52,950 tonnes, and she's quite a modest ship, but the sophistication matches that of a grand cruise liner. Um, the menu, as you can imagine, with an Italian uh, cruise line, the food is second to none. You've got amazing cocktail bars, five bar lounges, a show lounge, which is like a double level amphitheater. Um, just so much to do. You've got the disco, obviously, the casino, a really high end um, um, spa as well. And I think we're already seeing some of the beautiful places that this ship sails to. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> but we're not going here. We are just showing you some of the yeah, places so that just that gives you an idea to, of, yeah, of, of this where fantastic they can ship. Go. And, they, you know, so they, they can take you all the way um, around the world. But this particular cruise is incredible because we're going to be going away to the Seychelles, <laughs> um, Sham and, and Shake. Oh, well. God. Yeah, this just is a fantastic stunning. cruise. It's actually quite a long one as well. It's a great oh. itinerary, though. You're away for all of Christmas, yeah. all of New Year. And actually, for, for this time of year, you know, this is... A, an extraordinary price. So, where should we begin? Well, we're flying to Nice, aren't we? Yes, flying to Nice. So that's a nice, quick flight out of the UK and escaping. And as Sean said, this is, you know, you're off next week if you want to go next week, 18th of December. So, oh, you've just got time to just be spontaneous, get packed and off you go to the sunshine. So, Naples, you will embark the ship and then you've got some days at sea to really enjoy yourself and unwind and feel smug that you're, you know, maybe getting well, away from away the crowds from... and the cold yeah, and, and all, all of the that. Because not Christmas. everybody has Christmas plans that they're maybe no. sort of, you know, that enthused I, about. One day I would definitely go on a cruise over Christmas. Yeah. I'd love to. Nice really thing would. to do. Um, so day seven, so you've got like a lovely sort of week of cruising around. Then day seven, you sail into Sharm el Sheikh, um, which is so famous for its scuba diving, and you are a world away in beautiful temperatures and of course the Red Sea is one of the best places in the world to scuba dive. Um, so much to see and do here as well and of course you could also do a desert safari. But then the cruise continues and you can see that we then go to Elat as well uh, which is in Israel and you're going to have an overnight on board here and Elat is a really nice uh, seaside resort with an underwater aquarium, lovely beautiful beaches, a dolphins, um, and it's a real holiday place. It's, you know. Oh, yeah, I, I was really nice. It's really touristy, isn't it? It is. It's where a lot of people head for their winter sun. But the other thing that we could do, because you're just literally there Christmas Eve, if you wanted to do, and I think this is so sort of exciting, we could add on an excursion for you to go to Jerusalem. Which would be quite amazing at this mean, time of year, yeah, wouldn't on it? On Christmas Day. Absolutely. So you can arrive there on Christmas Day. So basically you get on the coach and we'll take you there. We'll take you up Mount Zion. You'll visit some beautiful places where the Virgin Mary was supposed to be. You'll have a lunch. You'll go to some really holy places where sort of Jesus was supposed to have gone on the cavalry and all this kind of thing. Um, you'll go to the Wailing Wall as well. Um, and then we'll uh, basically take you back and on the coach via the Dead Sea. I mean, it's a great tour, so please uh, inquire yeah, about that. Yeah, I was going to say, if you fancy that, you, know, you might not at all. You might just want to, you know, enjoy the ship that day, but there are so many choices. Yes, yeah, so Christmas Day, you've got some of it at sea, and then you go on to Aqaba in Jordan. Um, now, this was once a sleepy little village, but it's actually turning into sort of quite an upscale travel destination now. Um, 
and yeah, it's located at the northern tip of the Red Sea and is a very historic port. And kind of on any Middle East cruise itinerary, I think you want to go there. The region's major attraction is Petra, which is a 2,200 year old city carved out of the surrounding cliffs. And it was recently voted one of the new seven wonders of the world. Wow. So that's pretty exciting. And you can again do some trips out to Petra and Wadi Rum past these looming mountains and deserts. So all really exciting. And then on day 10, we are going to take you to Savaga in Luxor, which is on the coast of the Red Sea. And from here, you could go to the world's greatest open air museum, of course, the temples and tombs of Luxor there. Then you've got two days or three days, sorry, 11 to 14 at sea. So that's really nice and as it well. Is because, you, you know, you've got to bear in mind you've got this beautiful ship. That In the has, sunshine. Yes. Yeah. With pools and yeah. bathing areas. So, yeah, you'll be up on deck with a cocktail and a book, enjoying the sunshine, having seen all these amazing places already and with so much to go. Because on day 15, you sail into Salalah there, which is Amman's second largest city. Um, it's got a lot of charm about it, and you've got these beautiful mountains nearby, um, and a real sort of, it's an oasis amid the sand dunes, really, because it is quite green. So it's like pretty Arabia. You've got leafy boulevards, some beautiful beaches, again, fantastic for diving and bird watching, amazing frankincense um, trees all over the place, very fragrant. So Apart just, from the camel. <laughs> I'm just dreaming of being away, you know, over, I know. over December and January. I know. But, I think there'll be some people now oh. going, shall I go? Shall I go? And then you've got um, a few days at sea. And then on day 19, I mean, look at this itinerary. You sail into some of the most beautiful waters in the world, into Mahi and the Seychelles. And we were, we were looking at temperatures. Temperatures never dip below 24 degrees centigrade. Yeah, and they can go right up to about 32. Yeah. So... I mean, imagine. Me. Yeah. And you're there overnight, Gemma. Oh, you? yeah, you've got an overnight on board, in the, which is the, this is the I mean, Seychelles' largest and main island, so it's got the capital of Victoria on it. And just that says it all. It's just bathing in these warm seas and just having the time of your life. Day 21, you're back on the ship at sea. And then day 22, you sail into Madagascar. Um, which, again, is absolutely beautiful. One of the most beautiful deep water harbours, and you've got this amazing sugarloaf mountain in the background. And it feels all this quite French, because the French used to be there many years ago. And it's got a market and some beautiful restaurants as well. And then day 23, you're at sea. And then on day 24, I mean, look at this cruise. I, I mean, just, I'm looking at the, you know, the vast day of the world yeah. recovering and then that little price on the screen. I know, I know, it's so true. So we sail to Reunion Island. Now, what can you expect here? Well, if I just say emerald forests, tumbling waterfalls, mountainscapes, just amazing panoramas, white and black sand beaches, and the piton there that you can see, one of the world's most accessible and active volcanoes. And then day 25, we are sailing into Port Louis on uh, uh, Mauritius. Just, again, amazing. I've been to Mauritius. The sea is like stepping into a bath. It is so clear. You know, you can see your toes and all the little fish. Beautiful. And again, stunning scenery and wildlife. And then day 26, we're going to transfer you to the airport. And day 27, you will arrive back in London well, with a fabulous tan. Your way for the best part of, well, you can see there, four weeks. Almost four weeks. Stunning ship, of course, from Costa. And the price, I mean, it's a ridiculously low price. It's a very, very late deal and remember the single price is also superb on this as well so it's 1399 for couples the single 1699 all of you turn flights included there we can also uh, include flights from most UK airports and you're on board this gorgeous ship for 26 nights and uh, all I'm going to say is give us a call straight away for that one um, I know it's a, a late deal but that's one of the best offers we've ever ever had in the last seven years here with of course Planet Cruise